Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sportsman News. I'm Joe Borick. Please continue to subscribe down below or up above on the easy-to-use widget if you enjoy the content. Really appreciate you all and your love and support this far. It really does keep us going and growing, trying to get to 200 by the end of February. So click that sub button or click the sub button up above on the widget at the end. This is the Super Bowl Reaction Show. As we react to a great battle between two great quarterbacks, one that's pretty much still in his rookie season because he only played a handful of games last year, Joe Burrow, and he got his team in his first full season to the Super Bowl, remind you of another great quarterback. And then as we move over to Matthew Stafford, who was stuck with the Detroit Lions in limbo for so long, not even in limbo, that's honestly being generous in a crap storm for so long with the Detroit Lions, and then gets moved to the L.A. Rams, has a team around him, and that team even had some injuries in Robert Woods. Odell Beckham in the game, who was the biggest pickup, honestly, other than Von Miller, they had a huge elite pickup on the offensive end and a huge elite pickup on the defensive end in season. The L.A. Rams did with Von Miller and Odell Beckham. And both of those guys, even in short play for uh, Odell, helped them win the Super Bowl because he had, I think it was like 56 yards in the first freaking quarter. So before he got injured, he did go off. Um, <clears throat> Cooper Cup did something Jerry Rice took his entire career to do offensive player of the year. Uh, Super Bowl MVP and Triple Crown, he did in one freaking season. So that dude with Matthew Stafford, best duo in the league, that can't be argued. That is not argued. That is the best duo in the league. There's no way you can argue that. Um, and they showed up. They showed out. Everybody on the planet, including everybody in a different stratosphere, knew that they were throwing the ball to Cooper Cup on that final possession. Did it matter? Hell no, it didn't matter, because the Bengals can't defend Cooper Cup, and Matthew Stafford, honestly, neither quarterback played fantastic in this game. Stafford just played better, and played a solid game throughout. The one pick wasn't on him at all. That was on, I can't remember who number 18's name is, uh, but he tipped it, and he should have been able to at least bat it down if he didn't catch it. The first one was on him to point deep, and then throw it to Van Jefferson, threw it short, but also Van Jefferson, you're taught, at least from what I've heard former wide receivers say while watching NFL Network and ESPN to try to become the defender when the ball's up like that. It kind of looked like he gave up on it, but that pick was on Stafford. But the big part is, even if he did play solid throughout, which I think he did, he played great when the ma moment mattered most, excuse me, which was marched them down the field along with Cooper Cup. They even got a run that they were able to get out of Cooper Cup. They got, and also Cam Akers was Mr. Clutch when needed the most, having that one big second down run. Had a terrible game throughout. They couldn't get the running game going at all against the Bengals. And they honestly ran the ball too much. I don't know what they were doing there. But then he had a big run on second down. So I guess you got to applaud at least the stick to itiveness to at least trying to run the ball so it was in the head of the defense. And then they, of course, marched down the field and score. With Cooper Cup, I mean, Stafford, again, played a solid game throughout, but played great when they needed him the most. Joe Burrow was pressured more than I think I've seen any quarterback in the Super Bowl for a minute. Um, he didn't have much time to do anything the second half. Zach Taylor, I believe the quote was like, the pressure was pretty good in the first half, and then the second half, I can't remember the exact quote paraphrasing, but it kind of just gave way. And um, that's exactly what happened. They couldn't, I mean, Aaron Donald gave them no chance on that final possession. You might have been thinking, oh, Joe Burrow, time on the clock. Maybe they marched down the field. Aaron Donald said, you're wrong, not happening. They stopped them, and they completely just diminished the one of the better offenses in the league in Joe Burrow's Bengals throughout the night, the Rams did. And then they completely just flattened them on that final possession. I mean, this was obviously not a high-scoring game. It was 23-20, to 20, and really the Bengals shouldn't have even had 20 because T. Higgins grabbed Jalen Ramsey's face mask and threw him to the ground. No, I'm sorry, Bengals fans, but that shouldn't have been a touchdown. Uh, that should have clearly been a penalty. Uh, so uh, they honestly should have had seven less points. So the Rams defended a lot better than I think they got credit for from some people I was listening to this morning. I'm not going to name names, but on ESPN, NETC. Um, but it, it is what it is. I think the Rams defended great in this game. They literally pressured Joe Burrow. That's exactly what you want to do. Now, Joe Burrow is great under pressure, but if you just don't have time to throw, you don't have time to throw the damn ball. And they won the Super Bowl. 
the Rams have to credit that to Aaron Donald. They have to credit it to even Odell, who played great early. And then, of course, Matthew Stafford for being great when the moment mattered most was solid throughout the game. And then Cooper Cup was immensely great Super Bowl MVP throughout the game. Did something Jerry Rice did in his entire career in one season. Triple Crown Offensive Player of the Year and Super Bowl MVP in one freaking season. So congratulations to the St. Louis Rams on being the Super Bowl champs. Matthew Stafford, Dan Orlovsky was right. All he had to do was get... Out of Detroit, into a great setting for himself. It's all about the setting sometime. That's what it was for Matty Stafford. And he got it done. The current Matty Ice, who should be stealing that title for Matt Ryan. Matt Stafford's the GOAT Matt now. Matty Ice, the new one, gets it done. And Matthew Stafford winning the Super Bowl 23-20 to on a great final drive. With Aaron Donald being the man, the myth, the legend he is. Might be his final game. Literally went out with a bang being the MVP throughout the night, and especially on the final drive. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Link can subscribe down below on the easy-to-use sub button or up above on the easy-to-use widget to help us get to 200 by the end of February. What a great Super Bowl it was. T. Higgins touchdown shouldn't have been allowed, but it is what it is. Great Super Bowl. The team that should have won in the end did end up winning in the end. I thought the Rams played the better game. They pressured the quarterback in Joe Burrow immensely great, and honestly, they should have been shouldn't have had been down when they were down because Tegan's gripped the face mitt. But everybody have a great, safe, pleasant day, and peace out.